Uh. Yo, what's good, y'all, man? It's your boy Strick. Thanks for tuning in to Con's Reality, bro. And let's get it. Uh. English. Bad. English. Uh. Look, I'm in the building like doors. A stylist present you can't ignore. I kick it off like a pro. So thanks, Strick, for coming on to Con's Media. So who is Strick? What are you about? Um, just a um, down-to-earth kind of guy, you know, uh, very business-oriented, um, goal-oriented. Um, every day I strive to be uh, the best me that I can be and uh, motivate somebody along the way, uh, bring a smile. Um, you know, happiness is the goal for us all, and if you can't be, um, if you can't find the light in the world, then you got to be it. So um, that's just the way I try to live my life. I try to impact the world every, you know, every time I step out in it. Okay. Good. Um, so tell me about yourself. Let's start. Where did you come from? Um, well, I was raised in uh, Huntsville, Alabama. Um, definitely a cool place, rough place. Um, that's where, you know, the majority of my family is. Um, I moved to Texas to play football, to follow that dream, pursue those, that avenue, um, which led me to Colorado um, at CSUP, got a CSU Pueblo, um, got a scholarship there. Um, and then from there on, that's kind of really what shaped me to become the entrepreneur type of person. Uh, football just um, kind of fizzled out for me. I mean, I had nothing left but, you know, to kind of figure it out um, and see what my next avenue was to take. Um, and that's what led me to the, you know, entrepreneurship type of work. Um, and so, Strick, I hear that you, you know, you're, you're talking about entrepreneurship. Uh, what do you do every day that motivates you to continue to be entrepreneurship? You know, uh, well, actually, oh, okay. Well, actually, um, I started my own company. Um, it's called Ego. It's the acronym for Empowerment, Growth, and Opportunity. Um, just as a little um, way to give back to the community, give back to those that really strive to have a better lifestyle or better quality of life. Um, and pretty much what we do is we connect people to um, the resources that are going to empower them on their journey for success. Um, and we also uh, create a tailored roadmap for them to achieve it so that they can have something tangible to look at, um, you know, to set goals and to um, kind of mold the environment that you need to have to achieve your ideal level of success. Right. Um, and we match those people with different, you know, resources that we have, such as cons, media, and um, other avenues, you know, that you can take to pursue uh, what you need to pursue, whether it's directly or indirectly you know if you need a cameraman or if you need someone to actually teach you how to use a camera you know we got anything that you need um but we just want to kind of change the way of thinking for the world you know for the millennials and uh entrepreneurs and let people know that you can achieve it um it just takes you putting yourself in contact with the right people and like-minded people and um you know people that are like they say you know smarter than you and uh you, you can't be the smartest person in the room you have to find other people that are uh, pushing and driving to be more so that you reach that same, you know, same level of right, achievement right. or whatever you want to I say. I mean, man, that company sounds dope, man. Just what, what's the name of the company and where can we find it? Uh, it's called Ego. Um, it's an acronym for Empowerment, Growth, and Opportunity. You can find us on Instagram, uh, Facebook, a uh, website coming soon. Uh, we do a lot, um, you know, just throughout the community. Uh, we'll be partnering up with, you know, various people like Times Media. Check them out. Check us out. Right. Uh, you'll be able to find, you know, people, you know, information about a very group, large group of people. Right. So, man, it sounds like, you know, you're building your company. Um, what's 2018 looking for? You know, what is your goals that you're trying to accomplish this year? Uh, goals for 2018, uh, definitely feed those in need. Uh, that's the biggest thing. Uh, we definitely want to give back. You know, uh, Christmas is over. Um, the various holidays where you know people I usually go out to feed people or it's over uh, so people really do need help in those times where there aren't you know holidays or different things going on so that's what the 2018 is looking like we want to try to feed and uh, heal as many souls as we can right right man so going back to ego as the company um, you said it's a networking platform correct correct or, um, and you said it's already launched and oh uh, yeah it's already launched um, website still getting worked on, uh, coming soon. So you got a video blog, man. So, I mean, that's a, that sounds like a dope idea. What is the video blog? What is the discussion? Where can we find it at? Uh, the video blogs are on YouTube. Our YouTube channel is uh, Ego Blogs. Um, could definitely go check it out. Got a lot of very inspirational and motivational people, you know, giving their account of life and the different hurdles and journeys that they've had to take. 
Um, and just giving real positive and helpful feedback for those that may be in a lull in their life or maybe looking for um, another point of view, um, right. just to kind of help guide them on their own daily lives and daily interactions with people, you know, just um, basic stuff, you know, that, that comes up in life, how we deal with it, uh, maybe we can pass on right. away for someone else. So give me an example of the, uh, the type of questions, you know, and situations that y'all come up with in this okay. case. Um, well, just uh, most of it is kind of centered around finding your passion, like finding, um, like millennials finding their passion, how you uh, go about maneuvering the different uh, workforce challenge or workplace challenges, um, different things like how to interview properly, um, you know, uh, what type of resources you need to be effective in the workplace, uh, just different, you know, right. topics that are beneficial for growth, personal development. Right. So, man, like, like I said earlier, um, you know, you discussed what your 2018 goals is for Ego, man. What is your five-year and ten-year plan? You know, what is you know what is your future goals that you're trying to do with this? Company? Uh, five-year plan. Um, we want to try to feed ten million people across the globe. Okay, um, that's, that's big, man. That's very a big. Um, that's a big. That's a big goal, right? Very there, big man. goal. But um, just from my own personal studies and research, um, they say you know set the set the bar high and the universe and uh, other things will align to make that possible for you. If you don't you know shoot for the stars you'll never, you know, reach the galaxy at all. You know what I'm saying? You never know what you're going to be able to accomplish unless you go out and set to do, do right. so. Makes sense, makes sense. Um, um, also, we want to, um, my personal goal for the company is us for us to become a Fortune 500 company in five years. Okay. Um, you know, no matter what, like whatever it takes, you know, and I think we can do that with connecting with multiple businesses throughout the Denver area, throughout the world, um, and just helping each other grow. Um, we feed, you know, those businesses, then they in turn feed us, and I think that will help us, um, you know, kind of reach our goal of, of being a Fortune 500 company. Um, also, we want to um, just bring as many people as we can together, you know, um, through various events, benefits, and things like that to give back to um, different charities, uh, in five years, I, we haven't really set a number. Um, it's just an ongoing thing, you know, however much we can come up with. Every dollar helps, every, um, not necessarily in just money, but every resource counts, you know. Um, right, maybe right. you might not be able to give tangible money and physical money to people, but, um, you know, you still might have a talent that you could give to someone, right, you know. Right. So uh, just connecting people with different projects and different um, ways to give back to the community. Well, man, that's that's like I said earlier, man. That's a great, that's a great idea. That's a great goal, and it sounds like you got it definitely mapped out. So you know, I wish you the best on that, my brother. Thanks, man. Thanks. But you know, having that goal, um, how did you get that goal in life? What what happened in your life to you know that pertain to make you you know want to strive that good, you know, uh, that great to be that great? Just for one, um, growing up in Huntsville, Alabama, um, it's a small, not a small, super small city, but it's still kind of small. So if you're born there, the chances of you venturing out. Um, it's not very likely. Um, I always had the, I always had big dreams, you know, um, of being a businessman, owning companies, owning real estate, different things like that. And um, it's in order to do those things, you have to kind of be outside your comfort zone, which may call call for you to leave and and go to different cities, different states. Um, so once I just kind of growing up, um, we didn't have many opportunities for advancement. Um, my parents, I uh, was born to a single mom who did what she had to do to provide for me. You know, she hustled, she did the things she needed to do. Um, and in the long run, uh, that kind of took away from the time that we had to, you know, be able to spend together because she was always working to provide. Uh, so I kind of was taken under the wing of my grandma. Um, and she kind of, you know, raised me to think for myself and just grow as much as I can. And that kind of led me to you know, move to Texas and from there on take football opportunities in Colorado um, and just try new things and jump at the opportunity to try new things, um, which in turn led to the business, you know, trying something. I didn't know if it was going to work. Um, I just did my research and called on a couple of friends that I knew could help me. Right, um, and right. they called on a couple of friends and then we made it happen, you know. Um, and that's the, it goes, right? Yeah, yeah, and that's the biggest thing about behind what we're pushing with networking, um, just growing, you know, like, Nobody self-made no matter what they say, you know, you didn't bring yourself into this world You know, you didn't teach yourself everything that you know, you know, you picked up things along the way um, And we just want people to see that so they have a better um, Outlook on life and how to interact with people Man, so strict man going back to what you were just discussing 
Uh, I just want you know, want you to expand on you know Hunts, Huntsville, you know Alabama. I mean, a lot of people have been to Alabama, like myself, man. Oh, I have okay. definitely have been to Alabama. So I mean, explain the culture, man. Explain the day to day. You know, if you growing up in Alabama. All right. Well, um, like I said, it's kind of small. It's it's big enough to where you know you can kind of go places and see different people all the time, but. You definitely run into the same people you've seen from, you know, time and time again. You know, different people at, you know, different schools, um, just like anywhere else. But um, it's just a different culture in a way that, I mean, for one, it's Alabama, you know. Um, they're still the kind of, it's not necessarily segregation, but. I mean, going on um, that, what you just said, I just watched a documentary recently about how Alabama still has segregated proms yeah. in certain areas. That was just something that. You know, yeah. for me, that, you know, coming from Colorado, Denver, you know, you, you know, a place that where everybody's at, I thought that was something crazy. Did you have to experience anything of that uh, sort? Yeah, I definitely experienced it um, throughout middle school, high school. You know, um, it wasn't as extreme as, you know, you would see on TV. You know, like people right. weren't just going around raiding and looting stuff. But um, it was still tension, you know, when you go to the store or go out in public. Um, you don't know whether one group or one uh, one race of people are gonna, you know, accept you. Um, right. I've definitely had a couple times where I had people of the opposite race tell me, you know, we're cool as long right. as we're at school. And right. outside of that, you know, it's it no go. It is, yeah. So I mean, um, that was one of the biggest challenges, you know, to, to kind of face just going because most of the schools I went to were for arts or you know, something that is dominated primarily by another race, you know. Right, right. Uh, so really being a big part of the minority um, category and there only being a few of us in that larger category. Yeah. yeah. Um, it, it was hard to deal with you know, just because you never knew the information you were getting, whether it was accurate or whether it was just somebody feeding you something because that's what they want you to think, you know, or that's what how they feel. Um, and that's kind of one of the big reasons my grandmother made me move just because so I could have a different outlook on life, you know, and kind of see the way things happen. I mean, moving to Texas was right. not far of a leap, but it was yeah. way, it was better, you know, right. going to Dallas instead of going on to one of the outskirts cities, you know, it was. Yeah, a I mean, I, I definitely bigger melting Texas pot. is a little bit more better than Alabama. Yeah. But, you know, like you just said, going back, you know, to Texas and. Um, you know, you said your grandma was your influence to, you know, moving out there. Yeah. Um, why did you go out there? You know, um, what was you pursuing? What was your dream? Um, well, I went out there for football. You know, that was the biggest okay. motivator. Okay. Um, I really just wanted to have the best shot that I had, that I could have, you know, and I wanted to, if I did not succeed, it wasn't because of lack of resources. It was because of lack of what, what skill or in? effort. Um, I was a, I was a freshman. It was second semester All of right. my freshman year. Oh, okay. um, so I had to move to a new school. I moved in the middle of football season. Uh, so that transition was tough. Um, going from Huntsville, Alabama, where maybe 800 people were at our game, to Texas, where there's 4,500 yeah, plus. Yeah, I was going to say, you know, like, you know, how, how was that transition in itself, going oh, from scary. a small town scary. to, you know, a bigger city? You know, me personally, I've, you know, I've been to Dallas, and, you know, I know Dallas is, you know, a pretty big city. I know Huntsville, like you said, isn't as big, yeah. you know. Um, was there any adjustment, you know, like bad adjustment did you have to deal with? Oh, uh, yeah. You know, I mean, I think crowd? there was definitely um, a bad adjustment. Uh, just like I said, from growing up, I always, uh, you know, I didn't get to spend much time with my mom. Um, mm -hmm. I was a single child. Uh, you know, I, I didn't have any brothers and sisters. I didn't. Uh, so it was kind of rough. Like, I just kind of stayed to myself and, you know, um, didn't really mess up with nobody right. if they didn't I mess mean, with me. So Did you, uh, you know... Did you and your grandma move out there? Oh, uh, yes. Yeah. I was going to say, like, you know, just you just by yourself? Or? Um, yes, it's me and my grandma. We moved into my aunt's house when we okay. first got out there. Um, they had, a, like, extra room, so we moved in there. It was a pretty nice house. Right, right. Um, but the school, I, um, well, when I moved out there, I moved out there in, like, October-ish. Uh, so I would have had to wait to get into school if I was would have wanted to stay in my district. Right. Uh, but they had a school um, a few miles away that had open enrollment, so I well, I know With Texas is, you know, Texas is a football state, man. I mean, what school did you go to and, you know, what position did you play? Uh, I went to Richland High School, okay. uh, North Richland Hills. It's a little yeah. suburb of Shout out them. Shout out, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Rebels, Rebels. Um, I played corner. Corner. Um, and it was fun, man. I, it was definitely worth the experience. Um, made it to playoffs. Um, 
you know, got rings. We did, a, you know, did a lot of, of good stuff. You got stuff. some state champs? Um, I was, I was injured, but <laughs> I was there. <laughs> I felt it, I felt um, it. What happened, man? What, what, what? Uh, tore, I partially tore my ACL in high school. Had to, you know, wear a brace. Um, was that your senior year? Junior it was my junior year. year uh, okay. Played senior year uh, with a brace. Got, you know, looks and offers. But uh, because of the, the condition my knee was in, they knew we was eventually going to uh, right. give out. You didn't elect for surgery or what? Um, well, see, it, since it was already partially torn, the doctor said they would have had to go in and completely tear it right. to re, you know, put in the graph or whatever, so my parents weren't, you know, didn't want to do it. Plus, we couldn't really afford the surgery okay, like that. that so, sense, that makes sense. it just would have, it would have just kind of set me on. Well, I don't know. I don't know what the course would have been. You so know, did you but, stop playing football after that? Oh uh, no, I, I played my senior year. Um, I had a couple of D1 offers, but they were for like partial. Right. Uh, so I took the opportunity to go to uh, Colorado State University Pueblo, um, and they gave me a pretty substantial amount of money to play. Um, so. I started my career there, um, and that was the biggest, I think, adjustment that I had to make. Yeah. Um, I was that was the first time I was away from either, you know, like granny, mom, right, anybody. Right. So, yeah, yeah. Um, I kind of had to fend for myself at that point, um, and just getting getting ready for college football. I trained hard, you know, so I came in with an even bigger chip on my shoulder. I mean, I didn't really want to make friends. Didn't really want to. I came to do a job, you know. I didn't like it was. That's what it was about. Um, but then being here, you know, I definitely met a lot of cool people. Uh, they definitely opened me up to the idea of staying in Colorado. Uh, when I first got here, I did not like it, man. You did not like it? You didn't like the mountains, man? Uh, I liked the mountains. Didn't like the snow. You didn't like the didn't snow? Didn't like the blizzards. The snow ain't that bad. Man, Colorado don't even get blizzards, man. Pueblo, that, that, being in that little valley, I mean, boy, little that, Pueblo, yeah. we had to kick up on you. But, yeah, you're um, right. You're right. You're right. But yeah, yeah. man, it's just... Did you play um, all four years of college? Um, I played three years. Three? Um, and that's kind of what led me to... Uh, the whole business thing on um, my junior year um, I got suspended from football just lost love for it. you know it was more of a job more of a yeah. of a stressor than it was fun you know I had people doubting me people talking down to me all the time um, and that's kind of what sent me on the entrepreneur route like I did not want to have to have anyone else decide what you right. know how they could talk to me and how they could say things to me you know I was like I want to create I want to create my own path um, I want to be in charge of what I do daily because I know within myself that I am capable of achieving whatever I need to achieve. It doesn't matter what, you know, other people see. And that's what they couldn't understand. They thought that I was walking around, you know, just trying not to talk. But it's like, you don't see what I see. Y'all yeah. like, expect me to be one type of person. Y'all expect me to, you know, kiss ass and do all that other stuff. But that's not me. I'm here to get a job done and I'm going to get it done how I want to do it. Because what's the point exactly. of doing it if I'm not, you know, in invest in my full self in it. Uh, so that's, that, that kind of got me into a lot of trouble though, you know, because people just really didn't understand where I was coming from. And uh, I'm not going to place the blame on everybody else because I didn't necessarily want to understand where they were coming from right. uh, because I felt like it was going to be a bad interaction because they just weren't going to understand me. But uh, just running into good friends and, you know, people that stuck with me and didn't give up on me because of, you know, bad shit that happened um, kind of helped me to realize that there are people, you know, that that can help you. There are people that can actually impact you in a way that can, you know, set you on a better course just as much as you can impact somebody else's life. And um, that's kind of how I led to the business. Right. Uh, you know, just want to show people, you know, that there are people out there that want to help. You know, you don't have to be afraid to ask for help. Like, no, especially, I don't know about other companies, but Ego, we're not, we're not going to make you, we're not going to judge you. We're not going to make you feel less than because we've all been in that situation. We all took the college route. We all had teachers, professors, coaches, you know, not give us the level of, you know, love and care that we felt that we should have had. And that, right. that's one thing we want to share with other people that feel like they don't have it. Right. Well, man, we appreciate you stopping back Constrict. And, uh, man, we're looking forward to seeing what Ego does in the future, man. Thanks, man. Well, um, shit, thanks for having me, man. I mean, you know, we appreciate it, you know. And we definitely, definitely, we'll definitely, you know, be speaking to you again, you know, getting an update. And, you know, seeing your growth, you know, just one more time, let the people know for the front and the back, you know, where they can hear, get you, find you. Where they hey, can man, y'all can follow us on Instagram. Things. You can follow us on Facebook at The Ego Projects. Uh, follow us. We'll follow you back. Um, also, you know, shout out to Cons Media, um, Cons Reality, bro. Definitely tune in. They got some great stuff coming your way. Well, thank you again, my brother. And Cons TV, we out. Uh. English. For a win, 
back English uh. Look, I'm in the building like doors A stylist present you can't ignore I kick it off like a pro no